cosmic creature, seen for the first time in 4.4 million years. She had a very small brain, and yet her pelvis shows she walked bipedally. Artie seems to have a foot in two worlds. What other secrets did the rest of her strange skeleton hold? Human beings are not just like great apes. They are great apes. We are African apes. We are remarkably close cousins of gorillas and chimpanzees. We are closer to chimps, African chimps, than a horse is to an ass. Ever since Darwin, we've bought into the idea that humans evolved from ancient chimp-like creatures. That's because modern chimps seem to share a lot of anatomy and behavior with we humans. So the idea that we evolved from something like chimps seems to make sense. But now, the discovery of Artipithecus shows that this idea is totally and completely wrong. What came to be known as the Lytoli footprints were made by members of Lucy's species. They established that hominids were already walking upright on human-like feet some 3.7 million years ago. But what about Artie's feet? They're nearly a million years older than the Lytoli footprints. What could they tell us about the beginnings of bipedality? While cleaning the Artipithecus skeleton, the scientists were stunned to see the shape of a bone near the center of Artie's foot. The real shocker was the medial cuneiform from the foot because it told us that we had a grasping foot just like you'd see in a chimpanzee. This bizarre combination of a primitive, grasping big toe in the foot of a biped was unprecedented. The skeleton's curious mixture of primitive and derived traits revealed that Artie was neither chimp nor human. She was an evolutionary mosaic. Artie's chimp-like big toe was just one of the many surprises found during the investigation of her skeleton. Another would come from the bones that made up her hand. Artie's hands were remarkably complete. Even tiny sesamoid bones that once rested within the tendons of her fingers were recovered. Did the earliest hominids, like Artipithecus, evolve from ancestors who walked on their knuckles the way living chimpanzees do? Using Artie's reassembled hand, the project scientist would now be able to test this hypothesis. Well, one of the uh, important things about human evolution that Artipithecus informs us about is not only the foot and the pelvis and the back and these other parts, but in particular the hand. And the hands of chimpanzees and humans are quite distinct. Chimps feed on ripe fruit. To get to it, they often climb large trees. Up in the branches, they often suspend themselves, using their long forelimbs and stiffened wrist joints. Down on the ground, those same stiffened wrists act like shock absorbers at the base of their long hands. There, they practice a peculiar form of locomotion called knuckle walking. Most scientists predicted that the deeper the fossil record went, the more chimpanzee-like our ancestors would be. If humans had descended from a chimp-like ancestor, there ought to be traces of this knuckle walking anatomy in the structure of Artie's fossilized hand bones. 
but there aren't any. It was quite obvious the minute we found the major elements of the Artipithecus hand that it was not a knuckle walker. The metacarpals, the long bones that you see here are quite short and if we rotate that a little bit and we look at the surface of the top of the metacarpal, the elements that we would expect to find in a knuckle walker are not present. So these bones are short and the whole head morphology is completely different. And it wasn't until we'd extracted the hand bones and studied the hand bones that we came to realize that this was not the hand of an ape. This is compelling evidence that our common ancestor with chimpanzees did not walk on its knuckles. This was a completely new animal. It took years as a consequence to look at all the details of things like the wrist bone to figure it all out because we've never seen anything like this before. Artipithecus did not evolve from an ancient chimpanzee. This conclusion, based on new fossil evidence, has overturned a concept so widespread that many people just assume that it was true. From the beginning, we've used chimpanzees and gorillas as our stand-ins, if you will, for the last common ancestor. We can't do that anymore. It's an early transitional bipedal form, small canines, a completely unique and unexpected primate that no one could have known until we found the skeleton at Aramis. Artie's skeleton sheds new light on how humans evolved. Remember that creationism is effectively the belief that everything came from nothing. 